I'm going to show you how to make an ice bath profile on your Garmin watch. Uh, so you see if I go to my activities, I have ice bath profile. Um, so you're going to go to activities by pressing top right, scroll all the way down, or I think you can just scroll up until you get to add. You're going to, again it's at the bottom of the list, but if you scroll up you go to other, you get to give it a name. So we're going to call this, name has to be unique. So I'm just going to call this one ice. Uh, you know what, let's do, let's do it properly, shall we? Ice bath. Ice bath. like this uh, and then we go up here so that's created the profile now the things you're going to want to do is change the data screens I'll show you how I got mine set up so what I've got here is I've got um, you start with a bunch of data screens I don't need time of day so I'm going to delete that one I don't need to see heart rate here because I'm going to put it on another screen, so I'm going to remove this one. I'm keeping this very, very simple. Uh, I don't need lap times. You could choose to if you want. So I'm going to remove this. So I'm just going to have one screen. That's this one here. Um, things you could do, I like the three layout, but you can change the layout to have any number of data fields you want. Um, four, four, five, etc. I'm just going to go for three, but you can use this method to set whatever you want. And I quite like this one. Um, and then I'm going to choose the data field. So on the top here, I'm going to put heart rate. So you select, select the one that's flashing, choose what type of field you want. So distance, pace, speed, heart rate fields. And then once you've selected that, you can scroll through the different heart rate fields. The one I quite like is this one. So it's going to give me my heart rate and also the zone around the top, heart rate gauge. So we'll select that. Then we go down to the next field. I like time here, so I'm going to keep that. And here I want temperature. So I'm clicking on the bottom one and I'm going to select temperature fields. So it's going to, and that's the one I want, just straight temperature, 24 hour max. There's a whole bunch of them, but we just want straight temperature. Select that. So I think that's good. Then we go back here, uh, back again. So those are our data screens. There are a couple of settings that we're going to update as well. So I think if we go here, no, let's go back again. So we don't need a map. I think long press on the middle one. No, wrong one. I think we'll just, what do we do? I think we just save this, hard to remember. Okay, so we've gone back one again. Now here are the other settings I do. I want to set an alert to beat me every 30 seconds. So I go alerts, add new, time. Default is 10 minutes. We'll take that down to zero minutes and 30 seconds. So this is going to blip me every 30 seconds while I'm in the ice bath. Uh, done. Go back. Um, power mode, I'm going to leave it on normal. Uh, metronome, I don't want a metronome. Tried it with a metronome like 10 seconds, it just confuses me. Um, you can leave map, but we are going to turn off the GPS. So routing doesn't matter. Auto lap, I'm going to turn auto lap off because I'm not running laps anyway. Uh, auto pause is going to be off, climb pro off, auto climb off, 3D speed off, 3D distance off, lap key off, auto scroll off, GPS, we're going to turn that off. So we go up here, turn that off, back. Uh, I think that's it actually. Yeah, where were we? Alert, power mode, metronome map, routing. So those are, oh, I didn't seem to take that off. Power save, normal, background color, normal, accent color, normal, rename it, no, we'll leave it the same. So I think that, and then done. So that's now saved, I can save as favorite, yes, if I want it to be a favorite, so Ice Bath 2, and now I can move it to the place that I want in my favorite. So you see I've got Trail Run at the top, and then Run, and then Yoga, and then I had Ice Bath. We're just gonna put Ice Bath 2 here. And that's all you do. So then I can come back out of here, and when I wanna do my Ice Bath, I press on the activity, and I select, my ice bath too, and then start in the normal way. So let's go and test it. Let's just delete this one. Discard, 
Yes. Discarding. Okay. So let's get started. So the temperature is going to measure the temperature on your wrist through your ice bath. But if you want to know the temperature of your water, just pull the watch away from your wrist for 10 seconds or so. And that will be, um, I guess it will then give you the reading of the temperature um, in the bath. So I'm going to go ice bath, start, and then we are ready to get started. And when we start, press here and everything starts counting. Last of all, let's look at uh, Garmin Connect and see how this all appears. So once you've synchronized your Garmin watch with your Connect, you'll see your activity appear up here. You can click on it. There's some really interesting data. You won't have any distance, of course, um, but you'll have time. You won't have any speed. Um, you won't have any ascent. But what's quite interesting, uh, there'll be very little on the stats. Um, You've got temperature, average temperature here at the bottom, nine degrees C, minimum seven, max 22. Um, you won't have any laps, at least not if you use the settings I set, but you could set laps. And the charts are quite interesting because you see your heart rate here. It's quite interesting is my heart rate started reasonably high. I guess I was pretty active moving around, just come back from a run. Dropped down to about 65. And in the last minute, it rose up again to over 70, which I found quite interesting. Um, there'll be no training effect. Temperature, you'll see this graph here, that's quite interesting. And if you flip your phone on its side, then you get a larger version of that graph. Uh, and that's it, really. <laughs> 